Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm back doing a series uh, on my website. It's a course on Charlie Parker. We're taking a whole bunch of Charlie Parker melodies, breaking them down into common stickings that work well around the kit, that are flexible, that are usable in lots of different tempo ranges, etc. And uh, what I wanted to do is give you guys a little sneak peek at uh, one of the, the later ones in that course. This is one on uh, Charlie Parker's Moose the Mooch which is based off of a rhythm changes. Uh, and um, I've written out a solo using a lot of the stuff that we've been talking about on the side in terms of stickings and phrasing options. Um, and, and also I run the solo from a whole bunch of different tempo ranges so you can really kind of hear you play along with me and line things up, see how they, how they match for you. So this is just a little uh, snippet of that. I'm gonna play one of the, uh, one of the solos for you uh, and along with the transcription at the bottom so you can kind of get, get a feel. Uh, for some of this Charlie Parker language, I really believe that when Charlie Parker came up with this, this sound, Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie and Monk, um, that was really based a lot more on rhythm than melody, uh, how much that transformed the drummers in terms of soloing, filling, all that sort of stuff. I mean, you could draw a straight line, a uh, dividing line between the way drummers played before Charlie Parker and the way drummers played after Charlie Parker it, to this day. Lots of stuff flying on YouTube, great licks and stuff, and a lot of mine go through and be like, eh, that wouldn't have been there if it hadn't been for Charlie Parker back in the day. So we're going to break down his original language and see what we can do with it. So check out Moose the Mooch.